You want to build your credit and improve your credit score? If so, you want to have a good credit mix. A credit mix is a simply the different kinds of accounts that you have open. You want to have different kinds of accounts that, that lenders and creditors give you. Therefore, it improves your credit score. It composes around 10% of your total credit score. Now, why is it important to have a good mixture of credit? Well, for instance, you don't want to go all in on one kind of line of credit. Say like if you had a mortgage, you're making house payments, you lose your job, and, and for some reason, heaven forbid, you can't make your house payments and you lose your house. Well, if that's your only type of credit, your only type of loan, the only debt that you got, and if you don't handle that well and you, and you lose your home or you can't make your house payments, that's going to hurt your credit, 100% of your credit, because that's the only kind of line of credit that you have. Whereas if you had a good credit mix, which is a mixture of different kinds of accounts, say if you had some credit cards, had a car loan that you still make your payments on despite not being able to have enough to make your car or your house payments on, and you still pay off your credit cards, well, you have a nice mixture and it won't impact your credit score as much. Of course, it's going to impact it in a negative way, but not as much as if you had a nice variety of credit. So a credit mix is simply the different kinds of accounts, a variety of accounts of different lines of credit that you have open. Now there's two kinds. So what are those two kinds? Well, you have two kinds of credit. You have what's called revolving credit and installment credit. So let me kind of explain the difference. So the difference is your revolving credit is probably what most of us is most familiar with. That's like credit cards. So those could be uh, your typical master, Visa, American Express, it could be department store credit cards, gas cards. If you use have a special credit card for, that you put gas on and get fuel points on. So those are what's called revolving credit. It's always changing different amounts on there all the time. You're paying different amounts on there all the time. Uh, sometimes the interest rate is variable, so it, it changes the interest rate. You don't have a fixed interest rate necessarily. So that's revolving credit. So you want to have a few of those in, included in your credit mix. And then you have what's called installment credit. And installment credits are loans such as like your student loans, if you had student loans, car loans, mortgages. Those are typically kinds of lines of credit debt that usually at a fixed rate, usually that are on those big purchases like cars and and, and homes that take you years to pay off. So uh, personal loans or business loans, if you're a business owner, same thing. Usually you're getting a fixed rate at, and you pay that same kind of payment over and over and over again at that same interest rate for, for months and years. So you want to have a variety of those two. You want to have a, some revolving credit and you want to have some installment credit. Once you do that, and once you pay those off or have a rotating system of, of, you know, getting new credit cards or every four or five years getting a new car so you take out a car loan. Once you have that, that credit score goes up, different creditors, different lenders see that you're responsible, you can make those payments, you can handle various, various types of credit and various types of debt. Therefore, your credit scores improves. So that's what a credit mix is. That's the components of having a good mix of credit. So if you're looking to build your credit, if you're looking to improve your credit score, then have a good credit mix. That factors in about 10% of your credit score. And you can have a nice variety for different areas of your life, important areas of your life. You can be a master at handling those different types of accounts both revolving credit and also installment credit. All right, if you like this video, I appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you hadn't already, if you want all the latest videos on how to make money, save money, invest money, so you can make money work for you and you not having to work for money, then I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get all the latest videos from this channel. All right, until next time, all the best and take care.